Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and you can also find me as Knit Plan Jess on Instagram and on TikTok. Check the link down below. So um, for my new viewers, welcome and my returning viewers, welcome back. Happy 2023. This is my first video um, that I'm actually recording in 2023. So really excited for you guys to join me. Um, so today's video is going to, we're going to be talking about routines, morning routines, evening routines, just routines in general. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, so routines. This is something that I am really pushing to be a habit that I build for 2023. Routine, I feel like is so important because routines help us build those healthy habits. Um, let's kind of go ahead and start with how I decided to set up my routine. So for starters, before I jump into that, I do have a few planners with me. I have my Franken planner, which is essentially, um, it's a frosted cover with some fun printed covers from my friend Root, the crafter mom. Um, she released some, some printables and I absolutely love it. So of course I had to use it in my planner, but basically my Franken planner includes my daily. It includes the guided journals that I want to use, and it just includes some note paper and such. So then that way, if I just need to write something down, I have no paper there. I really, really love the frosted cover over that printable cover. It just, I think it's just like so perfect. And it's definitely like a whole different vibe than the Franken planner that I used in 2022, which I feel like I really needed that refresh. Um, so we also have my Kuma Stationery. This is my main bullet journal. We have the Amy Tangerine and Archer and Olive collab, which is my social media content planner, Bujo. And then we have my Audrey Okia um, Traveler's Notebook, which it's in this, um, this vegan leather Traveler's Notebook cover from Archer and Olive. And this is my wellness journal. So let's go ahead and talk about routines. So when I was setting up my wellness journal, I knew that I really wanted to make sure that I set some good habits for my morning routine and my evening routine. So I have my routines broken down between morning and evening because there are different activities that I want to make sure that I do depending on the time of day. So for starting out my nail oil, um, nail oil is basically cuticle oil but it's just meant to help um, heal help strengthen your cuticles and your nails and i have a couple of different options that i'm going to be using um, this holler and glow from coco cutie this i've had for a while um, it's a coconut enriched cuticle oil and i actually forgot that i had it but then i've been using like off and on the jojoba oil <laughs> I think I pronounced that right. Um, I really like this and this is one that I will probably stick with once this is gone and then maybe once this is gone I'm going to kind of see what other options are out there see if maybe there's something even better than just straight jojoba oil um, but no, nail oil is definitely going to be something that's going to be part of my routine and then we have for the morning i also want to do my goals journal so my goals guided journal is just basically going to allow me to get set up for the day um i'm gonna be today because of the fact that it is the first i'm going to be setting up the monthly and then i'm also going to go ahead and set up for the week but because of the fact that the first full week of January um, isn't until the second, which is the second the Monday, I'm going to be setting it up the week to start the second through the eighth. It's just kind of how I, I use my planners. But today I will be setting it up my monthly so in that way I can be ready for 
ready to act to officially start using this as of January 2nd. Um, it, it is kind of a li little off that way, but now if the month were to start on the 1st with being a Monday, then I would go ahead and deep dive into the guided journal. So while I have these all set as my morning routine, there might be some mornings that I don't necessarily need to do it, but I still want to kind of look at it and see if there's anything that I need to do. And then it's just simple things like washing face, using toner serum, so better skin care. My daily planner, um, I which I do need to do today. So my daily planner is all set up and ready for me for today. I'm actually going to be recording some daily videos today as well. So morning really is the best time to either completely fill this out for the day or if I have already written in some things um, from during the week that I knew I would need to do today. Basically, I can be able to look at it and say, okay, I have all of this stuff on there already. What do I need to add to it? I have a check in on my weekly planners. So again, um, this one specifically is my content planner. So I would basically look at it for the week and think, okay, this is what I already have on here, what needs to be added. And then I can be able to put in uh, like my content planner, this is all going to be used as like a daily to do list. And I can be able to put in that day's date, what daily tasks do I need to do related to content related to social media. And then for my main bullet journal, I can be able to write down what do I need to do related to home life. Do I need to add any brain dump? Do I need to update the schedule? Do I need to update the urgent requests? That sort of thing. So every single morning, weekly planner, definitely an important part of my daily routine. Then I also have, I wanna refill up my water. I'm making it a really good habit to drink a lot of water every single day. And then I also wanna start my day with a cup of tea or coffee. Um, today I have tea, which is really, really good by the way. Um, looking to see. So this, this is from the English Tea Shop Organic. Um, this is part of actually an advent, an advent calendar that I got from wor the World Market. Um, I bought this after Christmas, so it was on sale, but it's the Peachy Keen. So it has organic hibiscus herbal tea with rose hip, lemon, lemongrass, cinnamon, and apple. And then I just basically sweetened it up with some honey um, and just like a tiny bit of regular sugar because my honey is very, very low right now. And then I also have a couple of extra bullet points. So if I realize maybe in another month that I actually want to add a couple more things to my daily routine. I can be able to add them into it. And then my evening routine is going to be again, the nail cuticle oil. It's going to be, um, the HP journal is my happy planner journaling guided journal. So that is this one already have, like I already went ahead and kind of wrote in January, but today I'm going to be setting up the monthly page. And then I'm also going to be setting up the weekly page. So then that way I can be able to have it all ready to start on January the 2nd. I'm really excited for this one. Also, this cover is really hard to move. Uh, it's going to be things like washing face, using toner and serum. Um, usually nighttime is when I take my shower. And I'm kind of going back and forth on whether I want to include a shower on my daily routine. Because like in my head, I feel like that that shouldn't be part of it. But then at the same time, it's maybe it should. Because a lot of this is related to my mental health. And sometimes with depression, even little things like taking a shower can be very difficult to do. It's, I, I will never understand why, but you know, but that could be a good reason why a shower should be included as part of your routine. And then I like to do a check-in with planners. So it's basically looking to see what I completed of 
that day that was on my planner and what needs to be moved to the next day. And then I like to do a tarot card. So tarot is what I'm essentially going to be using to help me journal in my traveler's wellness journal. So I've got a place to write down the tarot card that I draw. And then as I actually journal for the week, which I will be starting this as of January 1st. So the first week is going to include the first, but the actual, like all of this part is not going to include the first. So this is all based on the second through the eighth, but I'm actually going to start journaling today. So tarot card, I'm going to kind of touch on that a little bit. And I plan to do another video um, that goes into a lot, little bit more deeper as to how I use my tarot cards. Number one, I always like to have some crystals near me. Um, so these crystals are supposed to be really good for um, creativity and, and inspiration. I do have some crystals set aside that I really like to use as kind of like a opening up the mind and um, kind of positive thought sort of thing. I do have a few, quite a few tarot card set. And really, which one that I use just kind of depends on how I feel. So my favorite ones that I have, I actually have more. This is not, this is not all of them, uh, but my favorite ones to use are these four sets. So it's a blooming cat tarot because cats, <laughs> um, a yarn tarot, which I really like this one because it kind of fills my creative soul. And then we have the cosmic slumber tarot, which I love this one. I, I, bought this one from I want to say from Amazon because I just I felt so connected to it and I love love the card images that they use and then we have the the affirmators tarot um these ones are they're a lot different than than the, the other cards that I have but they're all um they're all meant to be like positive messages so these are the tarot cards that I use. And then I also have um, a set of Oracle cards that I really, really love. And this is the Creator's Oracle. I don't use this on a daily basis. Um, I might build it into my morning routine or I might kind of do like on a weekly basis. But I just like to kind of use this as something to keep in mind as I'm going through my content creator journey as I'm going through my influencer journey, you know, YouTube creator journey. It's, it's just, it's really good messages related to helping you keep upbeat or kind of helping you reflect on how you're doing and maybe how you can be able to improve sort of thing. But yeah, I'll do another separate video kind of going more detail into this just because I know that some people aren't necessarily going to include this in their routine, so I don't want to deep dive into this as part of my routine video. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I use these basically for kind of reflection, um, reflecting on my day, reflecting on what's going on. It's to me, it's just it's it's really beneficial for me. And then I have my wellness journal. So obviously, after I draw a tarot card, I will go ahead and write in my wellness journal. And then I also have on here to update my budget notebook. And I haven't really shown this yet, but this budget notebook is just, just like a little notebook that I basically put together to help me track any kind of spending, any kind of savings, bills, financial goals. I have it all set up, but I still need to really update it. Um, so I have savings and I decided to use the printables from Plan with Elise from her shop with the jar and I just it's her half letter that I just printed out cut out and glued to the page which this is a b6 notebook so it fit really really well but I have one for emergency fund for medical bills um, and then you know we want to try to take two baseball games in 2023 so I have two separate savings tracker for that I'm trying to plan a future bucket list trip for New York and just the New England states in general. And then just the fun savings because why not? And then I have other savings challenges that I want to do. Income bill tracker. And then this will be kind of like a comparison between my income and then what I spend and what I save of it. 
um, just a running list of subscriptions that I have each month. Credit card tracking, and then it goes right into my monthly where I can be able to put down the bills, what I estimate that I'm going to spend, what I'm actually going to spend, and then just kind of some thoughts and notes, a brain dump page, because you always need brain dumps. Um, when I do a trip to the bank and I take out cash, how much am I taking out each week? And what, it, and what is that being used for as well? And then spend and then, then basically a spending tracker as I'm spending it. I can be able to write it down so that way I am appropriately tracking it. So I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be a lot better than other planners that I've used for budget because this is essentially a huge tracker and it's it's fully functional and it also works with my brain and then it is refilling water and again I'm gonna be trying to drink a cup of tea a night um, just to kind of help me decompress so <laughs> routines I am really really excited for how I have this broken down because um, when I showed my planner lineup, I know I showed a lot of notebooks and planners and I did receive some comments where, you know, they were like, that's, that's a lot. It is. But I'm also confident that with a strong routine, I can be able to keep up with everything. I'm able to make time, you know, a nail oil that takes maybe 30 seconds. My goals journal, I'm kind of estimating spending maybe five to 10 minutes in max a day. Um, five minutes if I'm just using like markers and pens, maybe 10 minutes if I am going to be incorporating stickers, washing face, using toner, serum, that takes maybe two minutes max. Um, daily planner takes five minutes to update it. Checking in on my weekly planners five minutes to update it. Refilling water, two minutes. Tea or coffee, that takes about six to seven minutes because you're counting in for brewing time, etc. Um, time for my tea kettle to heat up. And actually, as I'm thinking about it, I kind of thought of something else to add to this. I'm going to go ahead and include breakfast and then brush teeth with a, again it seems crazy to include such minuscule tasks but again when you're focusing on your mental health you want to have that reminder to make sure that you are doing those and i will go ahead and put shower and brush teeth on the evening routine you know those are things that i would do even without following my routine. But if I ever hit a really, really deep low and I need that reminder, I can be able to go to my daily routine page and say, okay, I did this, check it off, check it off, check it off. I get to the nighttime. Oh, I haven't showered yet. I wanna check that off so I can be able to do that. Um, and right now for my weekly, I don't like I have basically mood um, energy and mood trackers which are going to correspond with the year in pixels page so I'm going to be using the same um, one through five for my mood for both and for the energy and then I have tarot and journal so I can be able to check off did I do my tarot did I do my journal I may for the next week add in these to be able to incorporate or to be able to to track am i following my morning routine am i following my evening routine so those are just some ideas for how you can be able to set up a routine and then also track it which i'm really sad that i didn't do that this time so i don't know maybe i'll do like a little tracker up here or something but yeah there we go my daily routine my evening routine what I'm going to be doing, why I'm going to be doing it. Let me know if you guys have any comments, drop them down below. Um, 
I will probably be doing like a short maybe or a Instagram reel if you're following me on, on Instagram for as I'm doing my routine. So definitely check that out. I will, yeah, that's, I kind of really like that plan. Um, I kind of really like the plan of doing like a short or a reel. So definitely stay tuned for that. And yeah, just let me know if you have any questions or share with me what is on your daily routine, whether it is morning or evening. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of fun new content coming your way. And remember, if there's something that you want to see, drop me a comment down below and I will see what I can do to make it happen. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.